Well, he's on the short list of the best strikers pound for pound in UFC history. When Edson Barboza's fighting and you're not commentating, I know you're shelling out that pay-per-view money. This guy is as entertaining as anybody in this world. Every single time Edson Barboza steps in the octagon, I tune in. He's one of the most diverse and dominant finishers the UFC has ever seen. Who wins fights by leg kicks on more than one occasion? Edson Barboza, that's who. Who has a spinning back kick finish that's going to stay on the highlight videos of for all time. Edson Barbosa, that's who, a striker hit finisher with the highest order, Edson Barbosa Jr. is one of the most exciting fighters the UFC's ever seen. A lot of big name wins on his resume. Anthony Showtime, Pettis, Gilbert, Melendez among them. There have been some pitfalls in some big spots, but Edson Barbosa, as you might expect, finds himself in another big one here tonight. So here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity, and you all saw what he did in outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete who was an absolute marauder. But now it is felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill befitting a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it. And right now, they're all chasing the Volk, man, Alexander Volk. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Edson Junior Barbosa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, the Volk man, Alexander Volkanovsky, at one point in rugby league, he weighed 214 pounds. As you know, he competes at 145 pounds in mixed martial arts, and he has evolved into the best featherweight in the world today. Striking is the focus here tonight, particularly when it comes to the leg kicks. Believe that he can get those caps pretty sore on his opponent here early. Beautifully done by Edson Jr. Paul Bozer. Right, so we will see early on how the Volkman chooses to proceed, and no surprise to see Volkanovski go to the right kick. I mean, we have seen this constantly with Alexander Volkanovski, especially in the first Max Holloway fight. He won the fight behind the leg kicks. He is so smart inside of the octagon that you throw these leg kicks, not hard, but they draw something out of you, and then he starts to attack you with things that have more force. This guy's tremendous, and that is why 
he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Pretty good straight punch there by Paul Bozo. Oh, nice. So just over twenty total strikes have now landed for Edson Barbosa. Barboza gets lit up by that straight punch. Just over three minutes to go. Able to check that kick as well. Just out of range with that left hook. Another straight left. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. It's amazing. One calf kick can do so much damage. Starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Just over two minutes, round one. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. That was a big check. One of the most spectacular strikers we have in this sport today, Edson Barboza. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the guard. Back and forth we go. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Volker. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Volkanovski's limping heavily now. Might not be a bad idea to raise that knee, try to check a kick. I'm just not sure how many more he can take. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Edson Jr. Barbos. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Round two next. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay? Everything's gonna be fine. You okay? You okay? You look okay to me. You've taken way bigger shots than that. All right, that was nothing. Okay? All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable striking. All right, here we go. Round two. It is Red Alexander right. Volkanovsky right. and that man, right. Edson Jr. Barbosa. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging leather again, or he'll find the light shut out this time. 
Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of reach. Oh, and there's the kick. That one checked by Barbosa. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. He's got to start throwing down. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Edson Barboza. He's got to be careful here. That was a slick transition. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Referee help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of... If you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. He needs to fight now. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Done by Volker. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. When his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. 45 seconds remain in the round. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. 30 seconds in the round. Push. Moving his head here on the ground, Shane. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back. That helps him to evade those strikes. Barbosa's in half guard now. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Oh, back to the well with the inside leg kicks. Nice work there by Barbos. Two rounds in the books.
All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Using his reach advantage there. Effective jab there by Volkanovski. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Rips the body there. So that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Volkanovski. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, right in the mount. Now he's got good body position. Yup. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yep. You just got to move. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean... It's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Well, no fear in process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight, but we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Under two minutes to go in round three. Just out of range with that left hook. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Volkanovski's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Swing and a miss by Edson Barboza. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Barboza's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw it. You can see it starting to take an effect. He's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area 
and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Towers with a leg kick. Heady stuff there by Edson Jr. Barbos. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Now, perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear link that the fighter is dealing with right now. Nice. That's three nice. rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so the bruising on that thigh is getting really bad by the minute. He's going to have a hard time walking in the morning, and this fight could end in short order. Well, even in between rounds, the corner needs to be getting ice on that thigh. He's been beat up in this area. This guy's leg is unrecognizable. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in box, but hands up, chin down. Barboza's high appears to be closing up by the second. <laughs> fighter lands in left hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Oh, Volkanovski's strike attempt there is blocked. Barboza's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked <laughs> I love when you talk like that. I, know. I think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, and he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. This beautiful kick lands. right now a strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing oh and he continues to pour it on we mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking got to be careful to not gas out here but at least you have to admire the approach under. Oh! oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Oh, oh he is hurting for certain. This is such a crazy fight. 
All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. And blocks the shot there. Good combination there by Barbosa. Seconds now remain in the round. This work. Come on. Headshot. Bang. Volkanovski going for the takedown here, but he misses. Barbosa's cut on his nose. Manageable for a while. Maybe not so much now. That thing is pure and blood. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Uh, Horn sounds uh. for the end of round four. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. almost knocked him out, so let's get this again. We gotta set it up properly, okay? Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Fifth and final round. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Barbosa's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Misses with the right hand. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and he's leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised but neither one of them is willing to take a step Come back. On, guys. These on. guys want to win. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Another one. Oh, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. And he is back up to his feet. Barboza's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Good job there, keeping his hands up, obviously protecting that cut. Push kick there to the body. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Solid punch by him there. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Well, that combination's going to test his chin. Nicely done. Barboza's cut right on the bridge of his nose. Does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you got to think the ringside position will, too. Referee might call him in here in short order. Lance. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. 
Under two minutes now to decide this one. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, Volkanovski's eye is closing up. Nice hit there by Bobos. Oh. oh, he's in real trouble now. Oh, nice body shot. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhand. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Barboza's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Nice execution on the team. Big shot lands for both guys. Barboza's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Rips the body there. So they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great. All right, so another clean performance for the best in the world at 145 pounds. New South Wales is Alexander Volkanovsky. Needs the judges tonight, but a pretty clear decision nonetheless. Pretty clear. I have no doubt that he got it done here. He was fantastic. The guy fought, as we have come to expect, like a champion. Once he decided to go bald like us, sorry.